what's good welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog so i haven't vlogged ever since i came back from my trip and that was like four weeks ago i've been a terrible youtuber no like three weeks ago not four weeks i have a plan for today but then i don't know if i'm going to be following that because of 
a lot of uncertainties in certain places i don't know how long i'm going to stay i'm going to try and take you guys along um throughout my day i just hope i don't end up doing only one thing honestly yeah first of all i'm going to try and fix my phone yeah last time i asked about fixing it it was so expensive so i i'm on to go there now and try and weigh my options and decide because anyway <laughs> um yeah i'm just going to i just decided to start this vlog here if you guys don't see me till tomorrow don't be surprised honestly because anyway welcome to this vlog make sure you like comment subscribe and let's get into the video like a light lighting up in the dark you make it right, I forgot how to act, it's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words hey guys what's up what's good how are you guys doing i don't know if i showed you guys me going to get my nails done but yeah i got my nails done this is what they look like okay nails on instagram the best and also affordable i feel like for abuja it was really affordable i realized that i have i was about to start editing and i realized that i haven't done an outro so yeah, i'm just here to do an outro and yeah i wanted to vlog during the weekend because i had an amazing weekend amazing amazing weekend i literally went out like thursday friday i didn't go out friday i didn't go out saturday and then sunday it was an amazing weekend but i don't even know why i didn't vlog you know organizer gang gang ginger <laughs> you don't really have time to um vlog so that was what happened to me thursday was my boyfriend's listening party so yeah that was what like took up my time and that was when i was i was involved yeah i was involved a lot so i couldn't vlog but i got quite a number of snaps and yeah that was basically it the rest of the weekend on was it saturday yeah on saturday it was like a sleepover games night all of that together and yeah that was what happened that was just my weekend so i plan to be vlogging more i don't want to talk too much and then not do it but yeah i just plan to be vlogging more i realized that i'm not so used to vlogging like my daily life so i'm trying to like remove that habit and try to vlog a lot sure. and like stop being shy of vlogging so story time mini story time you guys do you know that i got this phone on i don't know i can't remember but the day i got this phone the next day i went to the mall and i lost it <laughs> that you're seeing this phone here is the grace of god you guys i went to the bathroom to change because that day i went out to take pictures i think i took you guys along here that day i went out to take pictures and the clothes that i wore to take pictures were looking too serious like it was too serious it was looking too serious i went to the bathroom to go change because i carried my spare clothes in my bag 
and when i went to the bathroom like i dropped my stuff i dropped everything and then i want to start changing and then the janitor came and told me that oh this toilet is not good um i was like oh no i'm not using the toilet and she was like yeah regardless like you're not supposed to use this toilet so i was like okay and i packed everything and i didn't pick my phone phone anyway i know i know what happened to me i was i was i was skipping that was why <laughs> i was skipping so i left my phone there and i went to the other bathroom it was a struggle to get out of those clothes but i did all of that and i didn't notice I still didn't notice that my phone wasn't with me. It was when I was out of the bathroom. I was like, oh my god, my phone. And at that time, it was just me and the janitor. Like, I checked everywhere. My phone was not there. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe I left my phone with my boyfriend. Just know, to find himself was a struggle because I didn't have my phone. So I didn't know which store he entered. He was supposed to be waiting for me at the door. So last, last, I entered. I got into shop. It was in Jabi Lake Mall. I got into shop right. And then I saw him there. He was picking some stuff. And then I was like, yo, are you with my phone? He was like, you know, I'm not with your phone. I was like, stop playing with me. He was like, I'm not with your phone. I'm like, yo, yo, it's stop playing. And they were like, no, I'm not with your phone. Hey. In my head, I was just like, I just told them, I was like, yeah, I just hope you guys are pranking me. And they said they weren't with it. Just know, before then, I had used the janitor's phone to call my number so many times. I kept on calling. And for some reason, there's no network in the mall. So, I be the network is very bad. We went to the lakeside. We called, called. It kept on saying my number was busy. I was like, mm, Sarah, you carried your phone. Forget it. At that point, because I'm trying to like tra um, train myself with this mindset of um, everything happens for a reason. These things happen. Whatever. You're going to get it back another way. It might not be in form of a phone or something. I was telling myself those things, so I was just like consoling myself. I was very sad, but I don't even know how I didn't cry. I didn't cry, guys. Very, very unlike me. Very unlike me to not cry. I didn't cry. And he was just like, calm down. Like, can you calm down? I was like, yeah, I'm calm. I'm calm. How can I be calm? I just bought this phone yesterday. I bought it brand new, like, just yesterday. And you're telling me that. What? So I was like, oh, okay. Then, like, he called. Immediately, the first time he called my number, somebody peeked. And they were like, oh, where are you? He was like, oh, please. You need to return this phone, please. The owner just lost it. And the person was like, oh, meet me at the car park. I wanted to go with him. I was like, no. But then he was like, just stay here. Don't go with me. Like, just, he, he was like, I shouldn't come. Just in case, like, it's a case where people are like, oh, drop money or something. So he was like, I shouldn't come. So I didn't go. I was there with his friend. I was waiting. I was panicking. I was just telling his friend, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to get the phone back. <laughs> and he was just like, Sarah, just calm down. Anyway, he was like, um, later on, he, he then called his friend. He was like, oh, you people should come to the parking lot. Like, come with Sarah. So we went. And the, the security men, they were like, come here. I didn't know of this phone. I was like, yes. They were like, I'm sure you didn't buy it with your, um, one of them was like, I'm sure you didn't buy it with your money. Um, I'm sure you didn't buy it with your money. That's why you're able to keep it carelessly. I just looked at him. <laughs> I just shook my head and I laughed. And he was like, what phone is this? I was like, and I told him. He's not like, hey, is this not the latest one? I was like, yes, it's the latest one. He was like, and you lost it. After a long story short, cha, they gave me back my phone. They said that it was somebody that saw the phone in the bathroom, a good Samaritan. And she picked up the phone and she brought it. I was like, what are the odds that these kind of people still exist? I don't even... I didn't even think people like this. So Nigeria is hard. Like, well, I always believe in like seeing something and like returning it to the person because you don't know what blessing. Because of like, come and block one blessing that God is about to give you. Do you understand? I always believe in this guy. First of all, like, I'm so grateful to that person. I don't know who it is, but like, I'm so grateful. Like, I, I just wanted to see who it was. I wanted to see her and just thank her personally. At the end of the day, like, yeah, we dropped the um security men something because like they also imagine if she gave them and they decided that oh they want to go and sell it a banex or something but thank god thank god i'm so grateful like i don't even know the person probably does well but if you saw a phone in the ba bathroom of Jabi lake mall and you picked it and gave it to the security guy like god bless you what are the odds that the person even watches my videos? But God bless you, Sha. Like, I just wanted to see her and give her a big hug. <laughs> anyway, that's the end. Um, I just wanted to end this vlog. I'm going to start another vlog now because I'm going grocery shopping. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't be like me. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. I don't even know what was in this vlog. I can't really remember. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Ra, 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 ra.
Re-e-e. 